There's no such thing as a new normal once a split happens. Normal is typical, expected, established. What you have is different, and no amount of lexical gymnastics will change that. Her different was solitary non-confinement, that aloneness that comes with being too free. She had an entire king bed to herself, but really just wanted a twin size, a sleeping bag on the twin, something, anything to make her feel small and whole again. When she was a child, she hid as a child. She would sneak out of her bedroom and listen to her parents fighting downstairs, where, for an unknown reason or an established generational habit, they thought she wouldn't hear it happening. She heard over time, years, various missiles thrown, but the one that sounded the worst to her was, go to hell. It was the darkest, cruelest thing ever. She didn't realize at the time that it was her traditional mother's version of fuck you, but worse, it sounded vicious, one person damning another to the burning, everlasting, torturous, scorching fires of hell. And who knows what else was going on down there? Chains, wheelbarrows of coal, all sorts of imagery from both Sunday school and Saturday cartoons got mashed up in her mind to impress upon her. This is what my mother is wishing upon my father right now, an eternity of suffering. Her father never responded to go to hell until he did. And as she listened upstairs, she sucked air through her puckered mouth in silence, waiting waiting in the quiet that followed. But nothing happened. She ran back to her room, as she did every time. And now, so many years later, she yearned for that same safe bed, the one she used to slip back to, under the tight covers, in the stillness of aftermath, in case her parents were to come upstairs and find her listening. She didn't want any more trouble. She didn't want trouble, but she was in trouble. She was trouble. She wasn't her mother, she said fuck you sometimes, but she never ever said go to hell to someone, to anyone, much less a loved one. She wouldn't say anything so vile, so cold, until she did. She did it a lot, straightforward, obfuscated, in immense and tiny ways. And he responded, her normal, flames that tickled at her heels and pushed her along to her little twin bed of comfort charred her feet. She was used to traveling, even unintentionally, from her side of the bed to his, scooting, shifting like a caterpillar until she felt warmth. It was a typical behavior, an expected nighttime activity, established routine. Now, there was different.
Thank you. 